It's good to be here, Tom. Uh, I'm thrilled to be here on National Sangria Day, also National Go Caroling Day. I wonder if those are related. Mm, possibly. It depends on how much sangria you've had, whether or not you feel like singing. But it is also National Dot Your Eyes Day. And along with crossing your T's, that's what we're going to get into in these stories. And I'm sure that you've seen a lot of things that you would say are some of the biggest stories of the year. But here are the things that were most important to us as we looked back on all of the enterprise tech news. And Stephen, I'm going to let you start this off with one of your favorite subjects, Intel. Absolutely. So um, you could say that this was the year of Intel, Tom. And um, frankly, uh, let's just go a little further and say that it's the year of friend of the show, Pat Gelsinger. So Intel made a lot of news in 2023, mainly because this is Pat really asserting his vision for what the company ought to be. We've talked a lot about that this year in terms of, you know, Intel making sure that they're able to be the next, I don't know, have the next great wave for the company. And that's exactly what's happening here. Basically, all throughout 2023, we had news stories again and again and again that related to Intel trimming the fat, focusing on its core, and making sure that it was a great manufacturing business and a great processor business first and foremost. So let's start with sort of some of the stories that we saw. Um, first off, uh, back in February, Intel um, axed the uh, Pathfinder uh, program as well as the networking business. Um, that gave us all uh, something to think about. Uh, in uh, April, uh, they exited the server market, which again, um, if you didn't know, Intel was actually a, a server OEM, and they used this to sort of prototype and show what they were capable of in the server market. Uh, not a core business, they got out of it. At that point, we were all saying, oh, I wonder what else is happening. Um, there were some other things too, the drone business and all sorts of things like that that they got out of. Um, then on the positive note, uh, in June, uh, Intel announced that they would be um, expanding uh, fabs in other countries. Uh, here in Ohio, uh, we're very much looking forward to Intel's mega fab down near Columbus. Um, but of course, uh, that's all part of Intel's, again, focus on manufacturing and focus on reclaiming the lead in semiconductor manufacturing. Uh, so that's happening in uh, other areas as well, in uh, Germany, um, and, and that actually went with the announcements um, later in the year uh, as well, a deal with Tower Semiconductor um, the, that, that was terminated in, in August and then um, uh, kind of back on a little bit in September as more of a partnership. Um, also, uh, in terms of the end-of-life products, yes, we were not surprised. It did happen. Uh, the Intel NUCs were shelved in July. Uh, since then, actually, uh, companies have picked up the reins on that one, and we're pretty excited to see where that form factor goes, even though it's not going to be an Intel-owned uh, product anymore. Um, there's definitely a good life to that. We talked a lot about NUX at our Edge Field Day event, and uh, they make a lot of sense. Um, also, uh, we saw a spin out of uh, PSG um, in uh, October. And uh, the opti optical business unit uh, went to Jabil in, uh, in November. So overall, what we've seen here, again, is Intel refocusing on the processor business, on the core of the business, basically making sure that they get right the things that they do best and making sure that that is the focus of the company again. And I respect them for doing that. I think that's the right move for the company. And it's the right move for the industry because I think we all need more um, focused um, availability of advanced semiconductors. One more thing that I have to mention as well. Uh, in March, uh, Gordon Moore passed away, um, uh, one of the greatest uh, people in our tech industry. And of course, a very important name for Intel. So I couldn't let it go without mentioning uh, Gordon Moore's passing.